Hello everyone, Crystal Vizier here and welcome to a brand new texture hack. It is none other than, well it's not quite Ruins of the Glimmer Empire, which was the original level where a majority of these textures came from by Rubber Rabbit 2, probably almost like a decade ago now. Instead, I'm deciding to call it something simple, I'm just going to call it um, Haunted Ruins. So yeah, Haunted Ruins, basically, you know, in many ways, you know, so much of it's been changed, but then in other regards, uh, you know, not much of it's been changed. Is it in that I've actually kept some textures, um, you know, a lot of the textures are kind of just the same texture repeated over and over again, but I actually think that they, well, as I'll talk about in the video, uh, you know, it's one of those things where unfortunately, they have the, the, the there's the massive problem, constant problem of textures overlapping and using the top half, bottom half. So for example, this was a miracle. Getting this one to work here, this beautiful uh, gem cutter uh, to be here, that was like genuinely difficult to actually get working because um, I had to try it on a bunch of other like, you know, two part textures, if you will. I'll call them that like where it's like, you know, one starts, kind of crosses over to the next one, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, once again, the water is a lost cause, cannot be bothered trying to fix that. I spent way too long back in the day trying to fix it and it just never, it never seems to work. Even when you change it to like, you get rid of the texture, you make it black, you make it um, uh, green, you know, like just pure green, yeah. And then there's like little, little bits and pieces that are kind of just all off. Um, but you know, again, that is, that is the state of, of modern texture, well, not even modern texture hacking, but just texture hacking in general, because sadly, um, you know, time, time is, uh, time is, time is money, I guess. And, um, you know, Rubber Rabbit is a, is a busy man. And, uh, sorry, not Rubber Rabbit, I, not Rubber Rabbit. Rubber Rabbit is, he is a busy man, but uh, for many reasons, I'm sure. But uh, I'm more than to say, uh, Alex Shadow is a busy man, and you know, he doesn't have time to you know, keep tweaking Spyro Ed. And the reality is as well, is that, like Spyro Ed is running on PC, uh, you know, EPSXE, and EPSXE is just dire at this stage. Um, Duck Station is just infinitely better now, um, just at just a bunch of stuff. I really wish that they would, would have actually updated EPSXE, you know, and just like, just fixed some other little things. Like I still get stutter for some reason. Like I think it like struggles with like better computers. If that makes sense. I think it's like the, the more cores you have, the worse it performs. It, it seems to be. Um, oh, by the way, I'm keeping this on purpose. That's that's why it's my Easter egg here. It doesn't actually have the um, area on it. Like the what's it called the um, stairs. Yeah. I got rid of that. It's, it's intentional, totally intentional, and not indeed me trying something. But yeah, I really love the earthy tones of everything, the lighting, the way the vertex lighting kind of bumps off here. It's like got this sort of reddish color. Then we've kind of got this, you know, these rocks are, they kind of go towards like a sort of a purple hue, which I really like. Um, you'll notice here as well, didn't change the skybox at all. Didn't need to. Um, the colors, you could probably make it a touch darker. Maybe I'm just actually have a look at this one real quick. Let's see if I go to square, I go to like 97, 97, and 97, and then I go like assign sky colors. Yeah, kind of like kind of yeah, kind of changes, but there you go. Oh, okay, so there we go. That's not too bad. That's like a little bit deeper. See, Ooh. okay, All right. I like what I see, sort of. Um, yeah, again, really hard to win because the thing is, the textures are again baked in, right? All the, the lighting's baked in at the bottom there. So even if you like change a bunch of stuff, it doesn't quite. Um, it's never going to quite be accurate. There's other egregious examples of some of my other texture hacks, but yeah. But no, Rubber Rabbit is just an exceptional texturer. Um, you know, you notice at the end of these are basically what they either are is they're either original textures or modified textures. And this is an example of one where it just doesn't quite, the repetition here gets messed up. Nothing, pretty much nothing I can do about it, um, but that's okay. So then I also decided to not change uh, this at all, mainly because see that texture there, see the big, the big basilisk snake here, it pretty much just would not, it, it would not really go to the way I wanted to go. You know what I mean? 
that makes sense? It's just, it just was, yeah, it was a disaster. Uh, if I tried to change it, changing this part, not so bad, but as you can see as well, with the textures, what happens, you know, once you load in different, more colors, you get the degradation. It looks like Space Invaders there or something like that. It's, it's absolutely, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's dire. Um, just how little colors you can actually use. Um, and just, there's just not enough great, easy to use tech that kind of like can kind of like strip out colors without just like completely ruining the quality you can do it with like bitmaps and stuff you can change it you gotta be like 16 you know bit bitmaps but yeah it's it's just it's it's not ideal um i didn't really do in here either but i'll, I'll just show it and ruin the illusion it kind of looks all right I'll, I'll show you i pretty much just kept it the same 12 years yeah basically wasn't really able to do that much let me let me see if i can beat this challenge let me, like, let me just full send and see if it, if it works that way. Okay. Boom. Got him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Thank you, Jamal. Got Michael Jackson. Let's see him do the... Uh, oh. Where's the hee hee? Alright, let's get out of here. No. Jamal, I'm out of here. Goodbye, Jamal. Was it Jamal and Bibi? Shout out Australian literature. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? A little bit dark. Alright, let's get out of here. But yes, I'm very much a fan of this. Very much a fan of just doing some little changes. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, just kind of, but it transformed the whole vibe. You know, like it worked perfectly. Um, it just, it was like such a, it, it didn't take a massively long time to, to actually do it, but just the little things, just change it, just for example, changing like a, you know, stone floor or textured sort of temple floor into like a grass, it immediately changes the vibe. I mean, it would be the same if I put it in here. I'm almost tempted to see what it would look like if I just put the floor like this in here as well. Uh, probably, probably a bit too excessive, but it can't be fun. The one regret I have is just not being able to replace this uh, level with like a big, cool skybox. You know, maybe like uh, even, even something like even something like Midnight Mountain would be cool. I know it was kind of almost been wouldn't quite be apropos, but I don't know. I think it would look cool. But yeah, unfortunately, you know, because it's such a small skybox and you can't replace it with anyone that's you know, equal, such bigger, basically, um, you pretty much there's just nothing you can do. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. Um, back, I'll be back with more, I died. I'll be back with more uh, texture hacks, hopefully later this year. And I'll also be back doing more LPs. I've got so many to go. I've just brought back Daxter after five years. I still want to bring back Jinx. I've got Ratchet and Clank. I've got Clive. I've got a million, a million things to do and not enough time. But you know what, you, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get the. Uh, you're gonna get everything. Everything is gonna be completed. Not maybe not this year, but I'm working on absolutely everything. I haven't even. I haven't even forgotten about the retrospectives too, like uh, Ape Escape, uh, Daisaku Sen, and um, this other one, uh, Crash Nitro Car. I have not forgotten. I forgive, but I, was it? I forget, but never forgive. Is that, uh, is that Lucille from Mercy Development? All right. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.